Well, hello everyone, I'm Peaches from Loves for Healthy Life and thanks for stopping by my channel. Now this year I've been doing a lot of succession planting, not only for my lettuce, but also for my cucumbers and squash. Now some of you know I'm an organic gardener, so therefore we don't use pesticides in the garden, so we do have a problem with pests. So therefore I had to plant my cucumbers and squash plants over again, uh, just so I can have a fall harvest. So I wanna show you the plants right now are doing really well. So I want to take you out there and show you exactly some of the things that are going on in my garden. Come along with me and let's have some fun. And over here I have some more Lestata eggplants growing and I've been harvesting these uh, this summer and they, they taste really delicious. More bell pepper plants over here. I planted more cucumber plants. There's two over here because I want to do some pickling this year and they're doing really well for August. I've never had this many cucumbers in August. Let's see if I can show you a cucumber. Here's one right here. That's a nice cucumber. And I plant some baby cucumbers right over here. And here is my okra. And it was raining and I didn't get out here for a couple of days. And that's what the okra looks like after a couple of days. It's huge. And I grew my tomatoes in a U shape and now the top part is starting to close over. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it do that. Um, I don't wanna inhibit the growth anymore because I have been trimming the, the tomatoes up from the bottom and they're doing really well. So we're gonna have a lot of dehydrated tomatoes this year. And over here are my brandywine tomatoes and they are huge. They turned sort of um, pinkish orange. And my basil that's growing underneath the tomatoes, this is Italian basil and it's doing really well this year. I think I've cut this back so many times and just keeps pushing out another brandy wine and right over here are tomato Abe Lincoln's and they're doing really well and it's loaded with tomatoes we have some purple bell peppers right here they look so pretty I like the deep purple color and pepperoncini peppers here are the giant Ozark peppers these beans that you see over here these are the Kentucky Wonder beans these came up on their own as well I don't know if I can do justice, but this is the massive bean stalk that I have here. And it is producing a ton of Kentucky Wonder Beans. Now at the bottom, I did plant some dragon tongue beans. And this is another garden freebie right here. These are the blueberry tomatoes. They look like little cherry when they're fully ripe. And I didn't plant, I planted these last year but they just came up on their own. And there's a total of two plants over here and one tomato plant right there. So I'm really thankful for this uh, garden freebie here. And then I have more Thai chili peppers, then hot chili peppers over here. And these are loaded with chili peppers. And jalapeno peppers over here and these are almost ready to harvest I might harvest some of these today jalapeno peppers and this is my bush beans that you saw from another video and these are the Roma bush beans and we've been picking these all summer long and these are really delicious and I have to do another harvest here soon actually probably do a harvest today they're everywhere so I have bush beans here over here some corn it's doing pretty good 
and this is some tomatillias that I planted late. Some purple pod beans right here. These are the purple beans. That's what they look like. And these are more jalapenos. These are huge, getting really big. More Thai chili peppers here. And this is a Marconi peppers. And over here in this circular bed, I have more pepper seed peppers. My dinosaur kale that stands over three feet tall that's starting to come back. Lemon balm, oregano. More pepper seed peppers over here. Eggplant that's coming in. Marigolds. These are more jalapeno peppers over here more jalapeno peppers over here and my jalapeno peppers are doing really great this year and this is another lastada eggplant over here more marigolds and more peppers over here it says lipstick peppers so i guess they get like a little point at the end so let me get a big one over here that's what the lipstick peppers look like over in this circular is bed I have more bell peppers, lemon balm that I cut back several times and it is just an amazing plant that you never have to plant again once you start it to growing. I just love the lemon balm, makes great teas. And then over here I have more of this awesome Italian basil and these leaves get so big you can actually use them just as lettuce on your sandwich. It has a nice taste. And over here are the Scotch Red Bonnet Peppers. And over here are the, I'm gonna put a link to the name of these peppers. I think they are Farorella. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But um, yeah, these peppers look amazing. And more Scotch Red Bonnet Peppers. And more eggplants over here. And then I have more eggplants, marigolds growing, and cayenne pepper plants. That wasn't doing really good, but looks like it's starting to do better. And in front of these flowers, I decided to grow a bean plant. And it is growing up the trellis, up and around. And this little butterfly actually lights up at night and kind of flashes. I really enjoy the butterfly. I have a couple of these in my garden. And I have a squash plant coming in right here. And the bean plants, I'll put a link to the name of these bean plants. They're not a green bean, they're actually a bean and you actually eat the bean. It's like a purple bean. I have some ground cherries coming in right here. So right over here, I'm gonna be planting these snow peas and this is for the fall planting and this is where I had my cucumbers that just didn't do well so hopefully these snow peas will help uh, bring back some nitrogen to the soil so I'm gonna go ahead and plant these today and over here where I had my zucchini growing I just planted these stringless uh, bush beans for the fall and uh, these particular beans you can pick uh, as regular beans or you can wait till they dry and they're a deep chocolate um, bean so yeah they look like that they just look like this so you can actually dry them out and cook in a soup or like a bean soup and or you can just eat them as a green bean as long as you don't let the seeds get too large and this is an update on my snow peas that are growing in. And I cut back that sorrel right there. Some lettuce over here. And this is my moringa tree. And I have several of these growing in my garden. And we've been harvesting the leaves off the moringa tree. It is really delicious and very nutritious. And these are the beans that I planted. And they're coming up really well looks like every seed germinated some more basil right here I believe this is the cinnamon basil banana trees throughout my garden and I'm getting ready to 
separate this banana sucker. There's one, two banana suckers on this tree, so I'm gonna pull those off. Have some projects that I'm working on right here uh, with these uh, planters, galvanized steel planters. I'm doing some projects. Gonna be cleaning out this raised bed. And this is my sea of watermelon plants. And I think I only have like three or four plants over here. Then I have some squash right there, if you can see that. It has flowers on it and baby squash growing. So I'm carefully walking through my watermelon patch and there's a little baby one right there. And you really have to be careful because you don't want to mash any of your watermelon. And there's a larger one right there and this is a Wyatt giant pumpkin plant this is my second go around for the pumpkins so we'll see if I get any pumpkins now that fall starting to set in here's another pumpkin plant over here and the leaves are getting really big and there's some flowers that are on there so we will see and this is another Wyatt giant pumpkin so my grandkids will be really excited this year to pick their own pumpkins. And over here is the antique Cinderella pumpkin plant. Well, I'm trying to call it a day, but these Roman bush beans are not having it. So I still have a ton of more bush beans to harvest. And this basket is about six inches high by about 14 inches long. And it's almost full with the bush beans. So I still have more to harvest here. Well, here's my harvest of green beans for today. Tomatoes, basil, some peppers, and bell peppers, cucumbers, eggplants. Hey, what's up, YouTube family? My wife and I just finished about an hour here in the garden. Here's our harvest. Uh, one thing that came to me is on my birthday, which, is, which was yesterday, that eating organic and healthy and I feel great uh, being a dad and a grandfather. And how eating healthy promotes a good healthy life and lifestyle. And how much more, even as a child, if we were to eat this way in place of all the candy and cookies and donuts and Doritos, I'm, a, I'm still a Dorito fan, you know how much more healthy we would be if we ate the way God chose and gave. Them.